Well, this is my version of a PC speaker. It has a few commands as a selector with uh, three positions and uh, two steps, and a headphone jack, an encoder that you can turn or push, and the display. If you want to use it, you just need to turn it on, connect speakers, and adjust the volume. The selector uh, uh, connects also speakers, not only power, because I don't want uh, to find uh, speakers connected uh, next time I power the system because uh, it happens uh, sometimes that uh, I play loud music uh, during night. When you power it on, it will prompt you to load uh, saved settings, like this. Turn it on. Load saved settings. Yes, pushing. Load saved volume. No, turning. Etc. When there's no sound, there's a Tetris impression uh, routine on the display. It comes for free, so I added it. Once we play something, it starts the MSG AQ7 uh, job, and it also displays volume, and uh, if there's some uh, effect applied. Volume is negative because zero equals uh, maximum volume. It's uh, voltage decibels, so it's actually not uh, sound pressure decibels. When we press the only button we have, we enter mute mode. Once we are in mute, after a few seconds, we can adjust the exit volume of mute. Up, unlikely, because we muted it, uh, the system. Or down, if you want a uh, lower volume. Once we press uh, the only button we have again, we have the, the volume we selected, we set uh, during mute. If we press uh, the button two times, one for mute and another time, we find uh, settings. There are uh, settings, effects and options. Let's see settings. Settings are the uh, TDA7313 uh, options. We have balance that is made uh, playing with the two outputs of the TDA7313. All to the right or all to the left. Next loudness no and yes bus down to minus uh, 14 or up to plus 14 treble same thing and these are the TDA 7313 uh, settings Let's see effects. One, two, effects. Normal means, uh, of, of course, uh, no effects applied. Then we have uh, ALC. ALC is automatic level control. It uh, flattens volume of uh, every sound we play. It's made, uh, it's obtained with the NE572. Then we have a modulator. I'll show you how ALC works. If we 
Toon Valium of Windows there's actually almost no difference except we zero it, it. it's actually very fast so you can use it for uh, loud gunfires and uh, low background noises uh, etc or uh, rendering uh, the volume of different songs uh, all equal let's see the modulator the modulator is obtained with the HT8950 chip uh, it's a particular uh, chip uh, made by Holtec it has uh, just uh, 8 bits of uh, ADC and uh, DSC and just uh, 8 kHz of uh, sampling frequency so a maximum out output frequency is uh, 4 kHz you have noticed that uh, it takes it uh, options when you let it uh, stay this means uh, no effect higher pitch even higher maximum pitch robot function yeah it's awful maximum low pitch medium low pitch etc here they are the options we have uh, anti-bump delay anti-bump is a feature uh, that uh, turns on uh, the relay the relay of the speakers after a few seconds because if you let the speakers connected uh, once you power uh, the system you can hear a loud bump and it's dangerous for the speakers and also unpleasant to hear you can set uh, this delay here it goes uh, from uh, one second uh, to 8.5 seconds there's the gain of the MSG EQ7 it's a software feature so it uh, plays just inside the Arduino if you find uh, the MSG EQ7 bars uh, too low or too high you can set it here and there's uh, the save settings uh, feature if you want to save settings you can uh, make it here you can choose no or yes and press the button uh, to make your decision let's uh, select yes then you can save also volume yeah it's useless but uh, it's free let's select no <laughs> 